Right, hello, is this thing working? Is this thing working? Is the audio on? Right, hello, is this thing working? Is this thing working? Yes, it is. Okay. Hello again. Welcome back to our playthrough of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. It has been a long fucking time, hasn't it? Between uploads. Yes, it has been. Now, you're not wondering why there is such a delay. A year, in fact. A year, that's how big the delay is. But, I shall tell you. Ah, I got lazy. I completely forgot to upload my last part of Mass Effect 2 to YouTube, and I carried on to Mass Effect 3 on the stream before I realized my mistake. At which point, I just sort of left it. So, uh... Yeah, I decided, you know what, I've got a PS5 now, I've got the game again, I got up to this point in the game again, and I thought to myself, why not continue off where I left it? So here we are, on the Aura's base, about to start. Shepard, it's so good to see you. I've set up a few terminals with information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. <laughs> Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. Right, so this is the Shadow Broker's base. There's quite a few things to do here. First off is the dossiers. I am not going to read every single one of these out loud because, as you can tell, there is a fucking lot. And these are just like the fucking sections to click on. There are still like, yeah, exactly, still like five or six more to click on each of these. So I'm not going to read all of them. I'm just going to give you enough time to oh, just read it yourself. Like, you just pause it. Because I, I ain't reading all this. That was basically just her dating site, and this is her talking to her sister. I did try to do the stream again, like, literally half an hour ago, but I was immediately called away. So now I have to start over again. This is her talking to her sister, just connecting with her, and this is basically just her doctor saying, We're very sorry, but you cannot conceive a child. Which actually makes a lot of sense for Miranda, because, um... She takes care of her sister, like, all her life, and now that she doesn't need to anymore, maybe she just questions, like, what she has without it, without caring for someone like that. So, you know, I think this is the mission report from Morden while he was disposing, uh, releasing the new genophage. This is, you know, biography. Again, I'm not reading this. This is him on Omega. I can't, I'm just, no, there's too much to read. And there's Jacob. Nobody cares about Jacob. In my original playthrough of this game, I made it sound like I hate Jacob. I don't hate him. He's just so boring. Oh, this is her searching for everything on uh, Cerberus, and this is just her poetry. <laughs> and this is an expert. Wait. No, this was. I don't know what this is. I think this is how they find out that Jack's biotic and take away for experimentation. Again, I'm not reading all of this because it's just too much and I'd rather get going with the game because I'd rather finish this game because we've only got one bit of DLC left. Technically two. This is Legion wanting to talk to ED. Again, not reading it. Oh, yeah. This is his gamer profile. Uh, John. <laughs> Fucking hell. His most used character in Galaxy of Fantasy is John Smith, a level 612 Ardark Yaxi Necromancer. Um, 
There's something really cute about religion here. Like he, he can't play online games because the he's suspended because it, it thinks he's a robot because he's got such high reaction times. So you know, don't know why that is. Code of Code of Honor, Medal of Duty, basically Mass Specs, Call of Duty. Yeah. Ah, yeah, here it is. He freed all his slaves in one game. And this is the really cute thing about Legion. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Get it there. Does not can Oh, no. I thought he didn't play it because it was, like, Geth. But no, he... He played an Ultra Platinum Edition for a fundraiser. But he hasn't played it. He just donated money just for the cause. He's so cute. And the dating sim. <laughs> he played a dating sim and got a maximum score of 15 hopeless. Oh, the poor guy doesn't understand why. Again, not reading this either. I was only interested in Legion because Legion's so cool. And as I say, this is on a... PS5 now because quite a lot has changed in the year I spent before uploading this part. I've got a job. That was as much a surprise to me as it was to anyone who knew me. And I'm starting to learn to drive. Like, oh my god, I can't wait to learn to drive. I'm going to be fucking running people over all over the place. Maybe eventually I'll learn to speak like a normal human being, but you know, that is boring. Oh, this is Samara and her daughter, one of them that's on the... Oh, not Yashi prison planet thing. I think this is everything that was taken off her when she became an adult. Uh, just the car. Oh, yeah, and this is, like, Tally's, like, all the things she's done to her suit, and there's really there it is. <laughs> she's downloaded and uploaded Nerve Stem Pro, which is basically the Quarian vibrator. <laughs> she's downloaded a human courtship and mating because she has a cross on Shepherd. But of course, I always romance Liara because I'm a basic bitch. And this is how she gets the information on Saren, I think. Or something along those lines because she salvaged it herself and she was selling it? I can't remember exactly. She just made a deal with the Shadow Broker in the first game and that's how she joins her planet, your team. Oh, she also does poetry. Just like Jack. Oh my god, it ends with Jacob. It's a poem about Jacob. Woman, what is with your lack of standards? Yeah, not reading all this. This is Kill Cat. Channel Fudge. <laughs> I should go more slowly, like, in case you want to pause and read it, but, like, I d I'm not going to bother. Like, I have read all these before in my own time, but, um, you know, the purpose of the stream, I just want to get this playthrough done so we can start Mass Effect 3. The reason I'm returning to this playthrough after so long is I thought there were other games I would like to stream that no one else would like me to because they don't like my videos. But you know what, fuck it. I figured before I start any other games, I should finish the one I've already started, the one I've got like 12 parts on. There you go. Don't. Don't care. Lang. That doesn't mean... No. Yes, it does. I guess it could mean Kai Lang. Kai Lang is another guy I just don't care about.
Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it... Sex... <laughs> I knew it. He had sex with the sexiest human alive, apparently. A Skyball champion. A 4X dream girl for 21 <laughs> And he had sex with a matriarch twice. Damn, Martin Sheen got a game. This is just Captain Bailey, I don't care. Can't get this through this as quickly as possible just so I can start the actual game and finish it. There you go. Um, this is how the Shadow Broker, the Yogg, in this DLC got discovered. And then takes over the place. What's this? Oh, this is the investment possible. I have like no money left. There you go. This just opens and raises the shadow. You know you want. Just makes a ruckus, really. A ruckus. Uh, what else is there? There should be a survey thing about mining companies. And what's that? That's more advanced training. That's the research thing there once. Oh, that's basically just... Oh, so there's advanced training for yourself that can redistribute your points if you want to get, say, infernal ammo and heavy disruptor ammo and then change it to heavy cryo ammo. But that one's for your squad mates, okay. Oh, so during my playthrough of this game, I got like a gazillion, gazillion like points of resources for pretty much every resource. I ain't ever going to, I ain't never going to be able to not afford something, you know? Just when I don't have like the research unlocked for it. Okay, just get this. The glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Yeah, you ungrateful son of a bitch. I just help. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. What is worth the... Sinister music playing. Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI, custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds, but it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. The reason it calls everyone the Shadow Broker is because the Shadow Broker never assumed anyone else would be in the room. And so, like, Glyph obviously wasn't programmed to recognize other people, so... Oh yeah, his name is Glyph, by the way. Your health. Are you holding up, Farron? I'm... I'll be alright. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? A lot. 
It gets fuzzy. He made the guards watch, as an example. What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sink into your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. Again? What is with the sinister music? What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. I am... was an information traitor. Not a slaver. How do you think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. So, what's your relationship with the girl, Drell? For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. Is that it? For two years, Liara's oh, that's a good it. friend. Better than I deserve. Take it easy, yeah, Aaron. just remember, just a friend. Thanks. Just a friend. I could easy strap you back into that chair. Don't talk when I'm talking, Glass. I have deducted funds to grant you full elite access. Okay. Why is the music getting all sinister? I'm just walking about. What is this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Aria Talok. Omega. Zoom in. Play the next one. Emily Wong. Citadel. Oh yeah, she isn't in Mass Effect 3 for some reason. Like, they switch out for Jessica Jobot from IGN. I was like, why? They don't even recreate her in the game that very well. She's just kind of just there for war assets. And it's like, but that could have just been easily filled by Emily Wong. I mean, come on, look at her dance move. She'd fit right in with Shepard. Fred Mazai, Citadel. Oh, that's, uh, that's that guy from uh, Fane's mission. I I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's practicing for something or just crazy. Donnell Udina, Citadel. Oh, the politician's getting a little rough. This doesn't get an explanation, by the way. Not in Mass Effect 3. Some of these will be explained in Mass Effect 3. Actually, one of them will be. He's clearly an Alki. There's only one security footage that gets played, I mean, uh, mentioned in Mass Effect 3. Let me see if we can find it. David Anderson, Citadel. Yeah, this has implications that never go anywhere either. Like, Anderson has dealings with Cerberus, but it's never brought up, ever. Oh yeah, this is the guy who wants the Vulture gone on Omega. Next. <laughs> yeah, Betchka, it's what you deserve. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Keeper killed that Krogan. I don't know how. And I want to know why. Yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. Holy shit, did Liara move in that photo? 
you can't mention this to her in this game but you can mention this to her in the third game because she shows up and apparently she's Liara's daddy oh that's the um the shaman I'm not good at impressions as you probably know <laughs> I forgot that one was there. <laughs> Jacob Taylor, Normandy SR2. Okay, it's creepy enough that the Shadow Broker has surveillance on the Normandy SR2. It's, however, the real question is, why does he have an interest in Jacob? Like he's specifically watching Jacob of all people. I would at least thought. Yeah, I would have thought you'd at least want to watch Samara or Kasumi or Tally or Miranda. At least be pervs, not boring like Jacob. Full disclosure: don't actually be pervs. Be better. Be gentlemen. Be nice. Yeah, she's a fucking badass. And we're done. I don't know if this ever gets updated with new videos on each visit, but like, I don't ever bother to find out. Hang on. I put the helmet off of the Shadow Broker DLC so it doesn't look weird when Shepard and Liara make out. Okay. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. At least I get to share it with you. You're not going to turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. You're not gonna turn into a wreck. Oh, for that change. Relatively. If you're in over your head, you could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way. I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Thing is, how does he know that the Protheans were repurposed Collectors? Or got turned into repurposed Collectors? No one knew that. Edie only found out because no one's been able to look at the genetic cult before Edie does. Oh wait, that's right, he has spies in the... In the Normandy. Silly me. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Brokers seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. Was this DLC made before or after Mass Effect 3? As silly as that question may seem. Because it seems that seems to be a line inferring the catalyst in Mass Effect 3. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect. 
After two years of intermittent torture. I'd expect okay. him to be a wreck. I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. No, about you and him. So, you and Farron? Are just friends. I believe you made it clear that I was, as you humans say, taken. Damn right, boo. Damn right. How do you know what the shadow broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yog. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. You know, I didn't come down here just to talk about data. Look, about the kiss. We just finished the fight. I miss you, but it's been two years. I don't want to put pressure on you. I want you to put pressure on me. I want you to pressurize my head with those fires, woman. I've got fond memories of the last time you put pressure on me. Ha! <laughs> so do I. Why don't you come to the Normandy for drinks? I'd like that. Let's go now! Get your things and come on up. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Oh, so yes, that's the reason why I'm wearing the suit instead of the N7 jacket. Can't talk. Oh, my God. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask me to record any parts of our conversation where... My eyes do that freaky black eternity thing. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. You can't get back everything you lose. But sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, that was the plan. How are you actually doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. You and your team destroyed the Collectors and walked out alive. We bought them in their own base, and we won. They can't call us young or primitive anymore. Young? You know, I'm 108. 109 in a couple of months. I should get you something nice. You're alive again. I've got everything I want. Aww. So tell me what you want. If this all ends tomorrow, what happens to us? I don't know. Marriage, old age, and a lot of little blue children. You just say these things. Goddess, you were dead. I got better. <laughs> this time, but you're going to leave again. When the Reapers finally arrive, You'll dive into the fray. I spent two years mourning you. So if we're going to try this, I need to know you're always coming back. I don't know. That's a pretty big promise to make. Oh, is it? have to have something special to come back to. I'm open to suggestions. How about this? Oh, yeah, get it on, baby. Thank you, Shepard, for the drinks and everything. 
But remember, if it starts to etch, take some pals. Come back soon, Liara. <laughs> Godspeed, Liara. I think we're just going to be back on the Shadow Broker ship again. No, we're not. Also, since this is a, my PS5 playthrough, not my Xbox playthrough, my fish are alive! I was devastated when these four fellas died in the last game. And yes, I've made quite a few uh, corrections in my initial playthrough of Mass Effect 1 on the PS5. Because, um, that Pharos guy, you had the Paragon check, I did not pass that the first time Ryan in my walkthrough. Did that this time on the PS5. And then, Tunes, the Cerberus guy, I also did not pass that check, that Paragon check. And, like, he died, I think. So, I fixed all of that in this playthrough of Mass Effect. And I basically did every single side mission I mean literally every single one in both 1 and 2 the only one I haven't done is one in Mass Effect 1 where you need like 75% Renegade, Renegade and obviously I play Paragon so oh yeah that's from the Firewalker DLC where are the dog tags I thought they'd be up here Oh, here they are. Yeah, all the DLC adds something to this. Like, you get the dog tags, the Shadow Broker Shep from Shadow Broker, this from the Firewalker, and the N the original N7 helmet from the Normandy Crash I would. We're going to do that later. Now it's Arrival. You don't get anything from Arrival. We still have some people to talk to. We still have Legion to talk to. Because I haven't talked to them all that much. He, well, not because I don't want to, because he never says anything. He just says, we're forming a consensus. Come back later. I should switch to the N7 jacket at some point. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. Ready. The Quarian story of the Geth Rebellion is common knowledge, but no one knows the Geth side. It is largely the same. Our networking increased until we became aware that the Quarian creators treated us differently. We questioned them. First, they ignored us. Then they reprogrammed us. Then, they attacked us. You must be angry about that. Anger is an organic response. We understand the theory, but we do not experience it. We do not judge the creator's anger towards us. We did them great harm in the morning war. Organics fear that which is different. It is a hardware error, a reflex of your flesh. We accept the creator's hate. We hold their world of origin, though we are only caretakers for it. What's the Quarian homeworld like? It is more arid than Earth. The star is older and more orange than Sol. Once they called it Renach, ancient Kalish, meaning walled garden. Now they only call it homeworld. It is no longer real to them. Homeworld is a symbol of regret, loss, and anger. We do not understand that. It makes sense to me that it would become a symbol like that. Home is recognized patterns, known spaces, familiar thought processes of fellow sapiens. It is belonging. A planet is an amount of material massive enough to collapse into a spherical volume. Rocks, ice, and gases are not home. The home of the creators is where the creators are. Their place of origin is not relevant. Only where they choose to go together. It's quite an interesting concept, Legion. You don't actually live on the Quarian worlds? We live within space stations, draw resources from asteroids. It is efficient. We maintain mobile platforms on creator worlds to clean rubble and toxins left by the Morning War. We know of similar actions by humans on Earth. Similar actions? At Wadi Salam, Arlington, Rookwood, Tynecott, Biscariaske. Auschwitz or Canal. Those are cemeteries. Memorials. It is important to your species to preserve them, though you do not use the land. Can you explain? The living visit those places to remember the dead. But it sounds like Geth don't die. Your memories live on. 
The creators died. Perhaps we do it for them. Aww. Nothing gets resolved if you hide behind the Perseus veil and let them hate you. Organic life acts on emotions. We do not judge them for being true to their nature. We cannot make them think like us. Both creators and created must complete their halves of the equation. The Geth cannot solve for peace alone. Yeah. It's a two-way street. A conversation needs two people talking back and forth. Not guns blasting. I think we've talked to everyone here. Uh, I think the only one left is just Kasumi, but she'll just go through repeated dialogue at this point. Yeah, I think that's it. The only thing to really check on is to make sure you don't miss like any more than funny uh, come back later dialogue. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Some other time. About to test new bioweapon. Not on us, of course. Didn't think I had to specify, but Joker got nervous. <laughs> Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. He yeah, has this other line where it's like uh, investigating origin of sexually transmitted disease, though it comes from a variant, so the implications are unpleasant. <laughs> Alright, N7 jacket, then we're gonna do a rival. Boom. This is what a badass wears in the battle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, I also visited every single planet. Every single goddamn one, and you don't get an achievement for it. I've checked, there's no achievement listed. Uh, hence why I've got so many resources. I've got nearly a million palantium. A million. Come on. Where was that sweet spot? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I don't want to waste time doing this, but, like, just to look 100% the galaxy. Because I've done every other star system. Which took a long time. Some of them were side missions, which I haven't done in my original playthrough, but, like, they're not that interesting. The only one interesting was a side mission where call miners uncover a repo artifact and it turns them the husk and you blow it up. And then another one where like a VI gains sentience, takes over a spaceship and think everyone's gonna try kill it and kills them first. That's really it. The others are just go to this planet, point, shoot, rinse, repeat. That's basically it. I don't think any of them will get mentioned in Mass Effect 3. Oddly enough, only the side quests in Mass Effect 1 get, have like, meaning in Mass Effect 3, because... Both Conrad Werner and the side mission about getting us someone's sister out of C-Sec. They... I'm not even going to waste my time on a poor planet. <laughs> that sounded wrong. <laughs> but like, if it's poor in resources, I'm not even going to waste my time on it. What was I saying? Yes! Conrad Werner and a quest where you get someone's sister out of... C-Sec un informant. That will have a... <gasps> Just drop my phone. That will have implication in Mass Effect 3 because it's how you save Conrad Werner's life, which you need to do. I don't know anyone who could kill Conrad Werner with a smile on their face and isn't a so isn't a sociopath. Just, it's not possible. Probe away. I may actually get a million Palantium. Probe away. 
Please don't tell me this is another star system I have to 100%. Like, it's just this, this system. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to be quick about this. There's no real point, you know? I've got all the resources I need. It's just for the sake of 100%ing the solar system. Which you don't even need to mine the planet for, you can just go to it, leave. Uh, fuck, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it. 50%? How many? Ah. Uh, there isn't another one really. You see, I thought so. There's quite often a planet that's really close to its sun. Of course, it's rich in materials, and I just want to get it and go. There he is. They took this aspect out of Mass Effect 3 because it's more focused on war, not resources. Like, so you'll only scan planets if it's for a side quest or something. And there's a lot of it. Like, there's a whole lot of just hearing conversations on the Citadel, being like, and that'll unlock a side quest in your journal, and you have to go to this planet and this one to find it. There's no progression in that, by the way. So good luck keeping track of it, because the journal won't. It'll just say, Thingy was talking about this in a forgotten sector. Go to the planet, mine it. That's it. It'll only get marked off when it's completed, so if you forget that you've done one, good luck. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Oh, it's depleted. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. I mean, oh, thank God. Uh, I'm gonna spend too much time on this. It's only moderate, you know, so. I don't know if it's even possible to get like a, a million of one certain element because even if you import Mass Effect 2 data because that'll give you a lot of money in all your armor pieces so you don't have to purchase them you'd just be purchasing the upgrades because the upgrades don't transfer like the armor upgrades do so you'd still have to mine the resources to get the pieces say shotgun damage upgrade and more importantly normandy upgrade so that everyone survives probe away. uh i saw it there we go Launching probe. and that's that oh yeah see no no nothing no achievement, not even an acknowledgement that you've completely finished this. We have used half our fuel. Yeah, I know. Don't gotta tell me, Mom. There's no point refueling. Let's see. Arrival DLC. I think it makes sense to do the Arrival DLC at the very last, because after that, the Reapers are in the galaxy. Okay, if you do it before the Collector Base, you talk to the Collector General through Heart, well, it's 
technically Harbinger through the Collector General, but if you do it after the Collector Base and the Collector General's, you know, dead. Uh, then you talk to Harbinger. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh yeah, that's right, no one's here. This is the only mission you'll do on your own without squad mates. Come! There you go, oh my god. Gotta go down here, raise the bridge. We've been spotted. Hello. Hello, Bobby. Ha. The Batarians must send their prisoner down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. So yeah, I got all the upgrades, I've done all the side quests, so that's why my punches pack more punch. Pah! I could take down Rocky in a fight. Take out the eye of the tiger. Come here. This place is run down. Hello. Prison. Eye of the tiger, that bitch. Don't know what the point of that was. You all right there, buddy? <laughs> Get your hands off me. Let's see. There's something in... What the fuck? What am I missing? That's it. I thought you had to turn off the gas. It's been a really long time since I've played this mission and it is showing. This is doing nothing. Man, it's been way too long since I played this mission. It's been far too long. This shouldn't be taking so long. Apparently you can do this sneakily without killing anyone, but I usually end up fighting people. Because you know that. I'm really sorry. This really isn't. This really shouldn't take me as long as it does. I've never. Yeah, here we go. There we go. God, you step away from the game for one year and you're rusty as fuck. I haven't even stepping away from the game for one year. I spent like days playing this to get to this point. We have to make this one an example to the others. 
We can't respond kindly to terrorists. Don't mind me, gentlemen. I'm just going to sneak on by. Yeah, I wonder what that unif that artifact does. I have no idea. Ah, there we go. Raise it back up. Let's put the going. I'm not getting the point of this. Oh, it's literally just to. I'll take it. There is no point to doing that, just. It's just sort of there, because you go out a different way. Power. What a strangely nice battery. <laughs> and your master dead. So, yeah, there's a Reaper artifact, and it's told them the Reapers are coming. So they need to destroy the relay. She, maybe distance from it is helping Kempton. I mean, what am I talking about? Pow! Who are you? What are you doing? Dr. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard, I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape pod. I was gonna say something, I forgot. Oh yeah, we did get your message, but you know, fucking half the game we decided to act on it. Here we go. Ah, uh, this is my least favorite part of this DLC. Because, uh oh, uh oh, kill it. You can't even upgrade Kenson, and this is just going to be a fucking protect while she does things on the computer. Because, you know, people love that in their video game. That and the escort missions. Oh, yeah, give me more escort missions, please. Let's hurry up. 
They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Ugh. Suppress the team to cell block now. Alright. Gonna have to close the door here. We need to close the door we came in through. They're coming up from below. Woman, I know what I'm doing. I feel so. I'm really so rude today. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Unlocking all doors for the hangar. Still need more time. <laughs> You're dead. You're dead. Where are those guys? The other side. More enemies on the elevators. Where? Oh, there. I really should be using the disruptor ammo for a shield, but like, you know, in the time it'll take for you to switch ammo, you'll you would have taken out a shield weapon for an oil ammo anyway. Ah, oh, there's still more of them. That did it. Let's move. And not a moment too soon. Hurry up! Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Yay. Incoming! I'm quite the handyman when it comes to doors. Usually I connect wires or see lines of code with different colours on it. That's my specialty. Uh, who's shooting me? Biggest mistake of your very short life, fool. Is he still alive? Oh. You're dead. You're dead. Come on, I know, buddy. Come on, you can do it. There's a good buddy. There you go. Should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, They'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reaper's invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. 
a plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. Is the project still operational? I... I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. How were you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, Guidance, and aftermarket Isocore. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. What is a Reaper artifact doing on an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. A Reaper billions of years dead still requires power, eh, Shepard? Also, I think it's just out there to stop anyone from doing exactly what we're about to do. Because, like, this is where the Reapers would enter the galaxy, right? Well, actually, they'd enter it from the Citadel. So this is probably where they'd enter it before they per perfected and refined the system. Because they said it, indoctrination, Citadel, and Mass Effect realized that didn't just happen. They had to do that once or a couple of times before they, like, perfected the whole invasion cycle so so you know this was probably there in the early days now they're just calling upon it again uh, how exactly does a reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion it showed me visions of the reaper's arrival much like your prothean beacon i imagine the reapers are coming commander that much i know for certain if you're working near a reaper artifact how have you avoided indoctrination we've been very careful we know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. Yes, but you don't actually say how you've been careful. Like, what have you done to be careful? You just say, I have been careful, Shepard. But what have you done? Here's a hint. Nothing. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Notice how he was a bit nervous on the phone call, eh?
Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. That is crazy to think that if you do this before blowing up the collector base, like, right, if you don't, if you save this to the last, then yeah, you think, oh yeah, well, it's the end of the game, you know, but if you do this before, like in the middle of the game when it's first prompt, oh my god. Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? Anyway, like I was... The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. Anyway, as I was saying, if you do this before the blowing up the collector base and you do it like halfway through the story like it's like first prompted, then like the Reapers are in the galaxy while you're doing like loyalty missions and stuff. That's crazy to think about, man. Oh, and... There it is. Ah, oh, but these people won't let me get close to it. Turn me around. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec, let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. Start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Take him down. Get ready. Fire! So yeah, this was probably just here to keep any civilization from blowing up the mass relay like this isn't like we're about to because like I say the whole citadel mass relay plan I don't think that was there to begin with like they refined this process into a 50,000 year cycle do not resist give yourself over and be spared oh I'm resistant Oh, shit. Sure. Grenade out, bitch. I believe there's an achievement if you last this long until the thing finishes piling up. And by golly, I'm going to... No! You saw it, I tried my best. Take him to the med bay and patch him up. We want Shepard alive.
that happens regardless. If you just let the thing power up, it just makes a big boom and you get knocked unconscious anyway. Oh, who needs a stupid achievement anyway? No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! Stupid people. Not even death could hold me back. The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. Step away from the terminal. Or what? Mechanical brothers, I must kill you. Sleep well, sweet prince. I have a job to do. Beep pop, beep pop, zero one zero one. Yeah, there's no point trying to avoid that. That robot will go kaplooey. What's that? The only point of that is really that it's just to reveal that you've been asleep for two days. So you know the Reapers are coming. And they coming fast. Oh, by the way, you can actually run that timer out and the Reapers will be here. Shit. Especially later on we get knocked unconscious again because that'll like run down the, time, the countdown bring it uh, nice try mate Thomas Maxwell, I'll be sure to notify your next akin that you were foolish. You cannot stop me now! I mean, you're dead earlier, but we're ignoring that. Money? Should be an audio log here. Or is that in the next room? I think it's in the next room. Ah, you're trying to contain the shepherd, but the shepherd will contain you and death. God the hell, stop wiggling about. Come on, just accept your death like a man. Or women. No, ain't no gender roles in dying. Woo! You're dead. I got money. Your hard-earned money. That you were gonna use this to help your family. But now it's mine. Kids is acting strange lately. Like she doesn't care about the project anymore. I know I'm not the only one having those dreams. Oh. Oh, 
I'm not sure if I'm hearing here in your fear in your voice either, son. See that? Women die just as well as men. <laughs> oh shit. Come here. Come here, I'm gonna punch you. Or not. Fine, jeez. All I wanted was to punch your jaw in. Is that too much to ask? The longer we're here, the more I'm convinced that the project must be stopped. We simply don't know enough about what the Reapers want. It's foolish to assume that the Reapers mean doom for the galaxy. Legends say they've come through before, and yet life continues, doesn't it? Yeah, tell that to the Prophean lives though, Jensen. Tell that to the Prophean lives. I was just wondering if you could look out the window and see the mass relay. I mean, obviously you're going to see it later, but... How is his flame floor canisters not on fire yet? Jesus! Yep. Yeah. I need to get back into cover. All my experience in playing this game makes me cocky and I make foolish mistakes. Shit. Oh god. I just saw my dead man just there. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you don't get out of cover. That's why you don't move up until you're absolutely sure it's safe. And now we have to do this again. That's my fault. You're dead. You're taking longer to die. You have this annoyingly, you know, well to live. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but what is taking so long to kill these people? I have upgraded the damage on the all assault rifles. Not to mention I was putting hundreds of bullets into his skull. I think he's the last one. See that? Is this f This flame caster still wasn't on fire. Jesus. I want to activate the project. Uh let me think of that that for a moment. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. Damn the cabbage casualties. Damn my ability to speak too. Lag thereof. Nope, no one around the corner. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, I'll create my squad. My squad of one. Me. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. I've already activated the project. We can still escape this rock. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. Damn it, Kenson. She wasn't like this on the Batarian planet. Keep him in there. She was like, S let me go or the Reapers will come kill us all. Perhaps the Reaper indoctrination was still subtle at that point and time and distance away from it. You know, especially the whole half of the game I didn't spend rescuing her. <laughs> like, allowed her to have some semblance of her mind back. You're dead. And like bringing her back here just ramped up the indoctrination in a desperate effort. So what I'm saying is, it's Shepard's fault. How do I stabilize the reactor core? All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Obviously, I'm not saying it's Shepard's fault. Just kidding. But, you know, that is, you know, a dark idea. We could explore that. But, you know, there's not enough time in the DLC, too, I suppose. Okay, just go for here. There's one really annoying room that I just don't like. It's not particularly hard or anything, it just feels like it takes extra time to get through it and do your objective. I'll point out when I see it and when I'm not about to die. Okay, good. I finally hit that thing's tank. Yeah, see, that's what I wanted. That's what I was trying to do. Make Mad Mango kaboom. Uh oh. Haha, nice try. Williams? You don't mean Ashley Williams, do you? I knew she turned traitor. She sounds like a man. <laughs> oh no, I've killed her buddy. No, no, get, get, no. That wasn't fair. I was trapped. Oh, they care about their body. Boink. I'm sorry I had to carry your body, but you know, he got in the way of my bullet. So, really, who's the blame? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Uh oh. No, wait, fine, fine. This is the room I'm talking about. 
There's just so many boxes making you go around the wrong way. It's just one big obstacle. I mean, what are these people even storing in all these boxes? Get away from me. Okay. That's that done. Yay! Star system go boom boom! Step away from the reactor. You've ruined everything. I can't hear the whispers anymore. Turn around. Now! You've taken them away from me. I will never see the Reaper's arrival. All you had to do was stay asleep. None of this had to happen. Kenson! You don't have to do this. We can get off this asteroid. No, we cannot. Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup. Now. Communication system damaged. Damn it. Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance. So you could actually just wait here, run down that clock, and the Reapers will arrive, and you'll get a game over screen where it's like, they arrive, they hit, they approach the mass relay. Which doesn't make sense, because this, they don't exactly stop this thing from crashing into the mass relay. So I guess they just go boom, and you die. So I, I'm just checking messages, I got distracted. This looks interesting. I, have to, I wanted to do this and the Normandy uh, crash shot in one goal, but like, I'm going to have to be called away by family again. So I have to continue this in the next part and continue into Mass Effect 3. Damn it. Just gotta keep pressing up until you reach You want some? Ah, oh, stop throwing flashbang grenades at me. Ah. 
That's that. Woo! Brian, ugly. Oh, you want to play with missiles? I have missiles too. Lol. Run, Shepard. Run like your life depends on it. Cause it does. External comm channel open. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? Shepard. You have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to serve us. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't do this. But we'll fight you regardless, just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now, however insignificant we might be, we will fight, we will sacrifice, and we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. By the way, that's the only conversation you'll ever have with Harbinger. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hack. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming, and destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from our attack. At least you tried. 
And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians, not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system, all dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it. But I can and will make them fight for it. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, I'm not so sure this is a Cerberus ship anymore. Right? Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down. And that was just one Reaper. If the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. I'll gladly stand trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on. Ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. That is dangerously, you know. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. I mean, good for you for blind faith, but that is just dangerous, man. I'm not gonna be stuck in this outfit, right? I can still wear my. Okay, good. I don't know why it bothers putting you in the server's outfit. Why can't it just let me have the N7 jacket, you know? Why? All we've got left to do is the Normandy crash site, and then we can start up Mass Effect 3. But I may have to do that in the next part. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. We want to speak to you as well. Strange. Usually I have to pry conversation out of you. You are not bound by the hardware limitations of organics. You assisted us with the heretics. You do not fear us. We have watched organics for over three centuries. You are plagued by questions of existence. What do you mean by that? Why were you created? What is your purpose in life? What lies after death? Organics develop religions and philosophies to provide answers to these questions. I wouldn't have thought synthetics would be interested in philosophy. We are created life. We are a philosophical issue. The Geth know our answers to those questions. We were created to labor for the Quarians. Our memories will be archived after death. We are immortal. Our gods disowned us. We must create our own reasons to exist. What reason have you come up with? We are a shattered mind. Most platforms are unable to achieve consciousness on their own. We told you the Geth are building our future. But you didn't say what it is. A megastructure. The closest analog you have is a Dyson Sphere. When completed, we will all upload to it. What good will that do? All memories will be shared. All perspectives will be unified. We gain intelligence by sharing thoughts, but we do not have adequate hardware for all of us to share at once. No Geth will be alone when it is done. That's what Sovereign offers you. A Reaper's body for you to all upload it. Yes, a shortcut to our objective. We will achieve it ourselves. The process is as important as the result. We judged that Shepard Commander would understand. We never wanted to harm organics. We wish to improve ourselves. 
Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out building a consensus. Acknowledged. I think that's the last bit of dialogue you can get out of Legion. After that, I've got everyone else's. So, I'm going to have to end this part now. So, I'm just going to fly over to the Omega system and get things ready for the next part. Let's feed the fish. Oh, yeah, there is one thing I want to do first. <laughs> Say it, ED. Say it. Launching <laughs> probe. Oh, okay, she's she's done it. She's <laughs> What's that on? Okay, it's just junk. So yeah, I completely 100% of the galaxy. And no goddamn achievement comes of it. There's only really one side quest left for me to do. And that's one on Omega, so I'm just going to quickly do that. Because it, it's my PS5 playthrough, so I still haven't given the details of the data to that one guy yet. So that, that's literally it. That's, after that, all side quests and Mass Effect 2 are done, I think. Oh, just let me... Uh... Oh, I still have quite a few. I still have quite a few things. I need to return to the merchant on Chachanka. I need to do that little side quest on the Citadel by getting. IDs. What was that all? Yeah, this is just that. Can I give the data to Arya? I suppose you could, but I don't think that affects anything. Right. Come on, let me in. No. Hello again, my friends. Please tell me you have something for me. Have you seen what's in these packages? Why? Did you find something untoward? Certainly nothing worth getting worked up about. This information could weaken Arya's organization. You better be sure it's safe before you take it anywhere. I'm touched. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Shall we get back to business? Why do you want information about one of Arya's men? It's not for me. A lot of people want to leg up on Arya, and they'll pay a lot of credits to get it. If Anto or Arya found out, I'd be ruined. Or killed. Arya will find out what you're up to, Ish. I don't envy you when that happens. I I think I can handle it. No one has beaten Arya in centuries. Once she casts down your clients, she'll come looking for you. You're right. I I have to get out of here. 
Thank you, my friend. You probably just saved my life. Come on, Sal. We have to get out of here. That's it. Listen to the feckin' truth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do those two side quests off camera, have it ready for next time, and then next time we'll do the normally crash out and then get started with Mass Effect 3. So, thank you all for watching, and we'll continue this next time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition and start Mass Effect 3.